Hello, I'm Atuba George and this is a new and blessed week. Oh, I love this week. Praise God. Listen, why this week is special? It's because on Saturday and on Sunday, we are having our program, our monthly program, Sound the Alarm. Now listen, this month, the Spirit of the Lord is crowning our year. See, we're talking about the month of December. The Spirit of God is crowning our year with fatness praise god listen i pray for you this month is going to be the special month that you will see the fulfillment of god's word to you now that's what i've been sharing with you about how to hear and understand the voice of god because you need this to be sure and certain what's going to make 2020 special or what's going to make 2020 the year you've been looking forward to it's what you do with the word of god praise god now that's why it's important to know what exactly the word of god is how do i hear the word of god how do i know that this is god speaking to me now i know sometimes religious folks have um, bamboozled you and, and, and you know for example they say um, there is Rema and then there's the Logos and then you ask what is Rema what's Logos what's the difference and they say Logos is the written word so they say the Bible is the Logos of God and then Rema is the spoken word now you see sometimes because people are not patient to hear from God and like I always say Whatever truth you carry, if you didn't get it from the Holy Spirit, then it's, there's still some question to it. If, if your truth is from a man, then there's still some question to it. Now, Logos is not the written word. I don't know where they got that from. Now, the idea of Logos may want to sound like, okay, what is documented, but no. Logos, first of all, you need to understand what is the word of God. And sometimes in scriptures, you, you find the, the Bible used the, the, the phrase, the wisdom of God. See, the wisdom of God is the word of God. You understand that? So you can replace that. You know? So, for example, in Luke chapter, I think verse, chapter 11, verse 49, it says, so says the wisdom of God. And I'll send them prophets and, and, and apostles and some they will kill. And now, he didn't say so say the word of God. He so says the wisdom of God. Now, when he speaks like that, he is telling you this is the mind of God. See, you need to understand this. So, Logos is the word of God that speaks about his character, that speaks about his person. So, Logos makes you know God more. You need to get this. Now, that's why they, they, whoever framed that Logos is the written word felt, okay, the whole Bible is displaying the character of God. So when we know the Bible, then we will know. No. But you see, the word of God is spoken. The word of God is not just written. It is spoken. So when the word of God is coming to you, it means God is speaking to you. Now, when that word comes, you need to understand whether it is Logos or whether it is Rema. Now, what's the difference? If God comes to you now and begins to tell you, look, I, don't you know I'm the great God who delivered my children from the land of Egypt? Don't you know I'm the faithful one who preserves my people? Now, what's going on? You are hearing the voice of God, but that's what you're hearing is Logos. You see, because he is speaking of his character. He is speaking of his ability. So that's Logos. So when you hear that, maybe, maybe you're feeling discouraged and you begin to pray. And while you're praying, suddenly you begin to hear God speak to you. You say, hey, I am the God who, who does this and who have done that or who's, doing, who, who's going to do this. Now, he is speaking logos to you. Now, that's going to bring you comfort. But listen, it may not change the situation immediately. But what does he do first? He first of all brings you to the place of faith that he may now give you Rema. Sometimes we miss this. You hear Logos and you begin to run with, oh God, I've spoken to me. God has spoken to me. Praise God. Then you begin to expect the situation to change and nothing happens. 
You didn't get the word that will change the situation. You only got a word that will prepare you to the place to receive that word. Now, many people make this mistake. And they say, God spoke to me. They say, but God spoke to me. How come it didn't happen? It didn't happen because you have not received the word that will cause the change. Get this right. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about those who, 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 who spend time to receive the word of God. And not, not just talking about those who sit down to listen to other people or those who sit down to just read the Bible alone. It's wonderful to read the scriptures. But listen, tomorrow I'm going to show you something Jesus said in the scriptures that will amaze you. Praise God. Listen, set your heart this week especially that you are going to receive the word of God. And I'll be looking forward to seeing you on Saturday and Sunday at the Zeus Paradise Hotel at Mabushi, just beside, almost um, beside or near Setrako in, in the city of Abuja. I'll be looking forward to seeing you. Praise God. We're going to have a wonderful time in God's presence. Listen today, set your mind, you will receive the word of God today and you will see it. God bless you. Bye-bye.